Ariel Hawani in Mexico City for UFC 188 alongside the former UFC lightweight champion Anthony Showtime Pettis. Former UFC lightweight champion. Does that really piss you off when people like me say that? No, you know what? I've heard it so much now, I kind of I just uh, accepted it. It's, not, it's more motivation than it pisses me off. I just want to get back at it. I want to fight that guy who took my belt and get that back. Is it kind of weird they have you here for this, uh, I guess, guest fighter media day? And Dos Anjos is right over there. Does no, that bother you? Not at all, man. I mean, everybody asks that. They think it would be weird. Uh, my girlfriend, I think it's more weird for her than it is for me. But uh, it's Why is that? Because uh, he saw what happened in the fight, man. I mean, he, he got me pretty good. I never got beat up in a fight. That was the first time I ever actually felt like I, I was bleeding on my face. It had never happened to me in my life. So uh, new experience for me, and uh, it's kind of a humbling thing. i got to go back to the gym, work harder, and get that belt back. Did you say anything to him, or did he say anything to you? Just what's up. I mean, okay. there's no, there's no need to, you know, explain anything. Congrats to him. You know, I'm sure his life's going great right now. He's had a, a surgery or something as well. Right. So uh, we're both just recovered. How's your face? I mean, uh, the orbital bone, all yeah, that. Is that, that, was, that was quick, quick okay. heal. I mean, besides the stitches, I mean, everything else was a quick heal. Um, this elbow's worse than yeah. the freaking, uh, you know, the fight. It's, it sucks. What happened there exactly? Wrestling. Uh, you know, everybody's talking about my wrestling, so I pull in these college wrestlers, and uh, they don't know they don't know how to train mixed martial arts the way. Well, it's just a mix. You can't mix it two. It's sure. wrestling and MMA. It's so different things. Um, I made a mistake of trying to brace out when I was going for a takedown, or when I was getting reversal on a takedown, and my arm got caught and popped a ligament. You knew right away something was wrong. Yeah, the, the elbow went all the way out. You know, it was a full full dislocation. I saw it. You know, the wrong way, and I had to pull it back in. And uh, yeah, so I knew it was bad. Painful. Oh my God, the worst, the worst injury I ever had. Really? Yes. More so than the, the fate? Yeah, worst injury I ever had, wow. man. And I, I mean, the knee wasn't bad, but this, this arm was bad. And so you had the surgery, it went well. When are they saying you can fight again? Three to four months to full training, and uh, two months after that for a fight. So I'm hoping before the end of the year, for sure before the end of the year, November, December return, um, no need to rush it again. I mean, uh, this, I feel like this is uh, a good pace for me. Two fights a year is where I need to be at. I tried to do that quick turnaround, and uh, it didn't go well for me. You know, it's interesting because it felt like you were over the injury hump. You came back quickly for 185 and then this, of course, and it happened so soon after the fight. You were booked right away against Miles Jury. Do you feel like this, like, like that stretch, like, was that one of the hardest things you've ever had to deal with from losing the belt to this, this, this pain? I mean, how, how, how do you deal with that mentally? Man, it's interesting. You know, I just, I just had this, uh, I, I'm doing a book with an author, and he's asking me these questions of, like, these deep, these deep questions that I never really, like, answered, like, question myself on so he was asking about the injuries and I feel like um, you know when my dad passed I kind of pushed all that away and I put all my focus on mixed martial arts and when these injuries happen I feel like really close to my pops and I go back to the gravesite I'm like talking to him all the time and uh, I, he just kind of just gave, gave it out there. It's like maybe these need to happen so you can actually focus on what happened there move past that and get on to the next thing so I'm looking at it that way more than it's a bad luck thing or like an injury thing you know um, I just got to get I got to get over it man I got I to go, go back to what, what was really hurting me in the beginning what, which MMA took over for me kind of and uh, to get past that and hopefully this, this goes away so you're writing a book yeah, I'm um, writing a book about uh, my life pretty much, man. Just wow. about what happened to me as a kid and, and overcoming that and uh, staying busy while, while these injuries happen. That's what I always try to do. And why now and not at the end of your career? Um, right now, because I feel like I, I have a, a great story to tell where I'm at right now. Right. And, uh, you know, not being the champ, I, mean, I could be like the, this, this hero story, the champ, like the kid that came from, you know, nothing, Southside, bad neighborhood, dad died. Um, you know, I just lost the belt. So it's more of like just the adversities I face in my life and overcoming it. So um, kind of more of an empowering book more than a, a, a life story. Now, there's a very interesting uh, lightweight fight on this card on Saturday night. Eddie Alvarez, Gilbert Melendez. Obviously, you know Gilbert very well. Who are you picking in the fight? Um, my initial instinct said Gil. I just feel like he has a uh, just more well-rounded. You know, after Alvarez and Cowboy fight, I just saw we saw Alvarez break in that fight. So I think, uh, you know, Gil... Um, after losing to me, I know how that feels. You know, they're both they both have something to prove. Whoever lo whoever loses has you know two losses in a row. No one wants that in any division. So uh, I say Melendez. Just I feel like he's a little more well-rounded, but you never know. I mean, they're both in a box. They're gonna throw down. Wrestling and boxing is what's gonna happen in this fight. Yeah, it seems like the classic kind of fight that the fans, especially in Mexico, will love, right? I mean, I two, it's gonna be like a Diego Sanchez yeah, Melendez fight. Exactly. Yeah. And, and how are they receiving you here? I mean, I know you're not of Mexican descent, Puerto Rican. Mexican descent, yeah. You are, I thought, I thought Puerto Rican. My mom's Mexican, my dad's uh, Puerto Rican. Yeah. I apologize. I did not know. So what's it like for you to be here? Uh, we just got it last night. So yeah. I just walked around a little bit today. People were recognizing me, taking pics. So it's cool to see the fans out. But um, you know, I go to Mexico a lot. I've never been to Mexico City, but you know, the fans here, they, they accept me. And uh, do you still think that the Puerto Rico thing is on the table? I know that that means a lot to you. Yeah, what have I, they told you about that? I want that. I mean, that's that's a goal. Um, you know, I'm 28, man. I said a long time to go. Hopefully, before my career is over, we uh, have a fight in Puerto Rico. And by the way, RDA Cerrone, you know those guys very well. Yeah. It seems like that's next. Who are you picking in that fight? Um, depends what Cerrone shows up. 
Cerrone's been impressing me lately, man. I mean, he's got these, uh, his skills definitely improved since we fought. So I think it uh, depends what Cerrone shows up. For some reason, when he gets these big fights, he doesn't do so well. Like the last fight, I was interested to see how he did against Khabib, you know, top guy. Um, then he got thrown in there with, you know, somebody that even if he won, it didn't really do much for him. So, uh, you know, it, it depends what Cerrone shows up. But I mean, I fought RDA and that was the toughest fight of my life. I mean, like I said, I never got, I never got punched in my face and, and bled in a fight. That was my first time doing that. So if I had to choose, I'd say RDA and that's what I kind of want. I want to fight for that title against RDA again. And have you watched the fight again? Yes. What's that like? Um, it sucks, you know, because yeah. I just felt like I, re I go back to the feelings in the fight and I remember not feeling like I could hurt the guy. You know, I was landing these punches, landing these kicks. and I was like, man, it's, even if I land, it's not going to hurt him. I just didn't have like that power in me. So I don't know. It's just like uh, one of them bad dreams where you feel like you're punching somebody and nothing's going to happen. That's kind of how I felt in that fight. And going back to remembering how that felt, I just, uh, it's, I guess it's just humbling, you know, I got to go back and work harder. How far away do you think? Because like the, the jury fight was an interesting booking, I thought. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people saw that one coming. I didn't see it coming. It was more of a quick turnaround. I wanted yeah. to erase that memory and get back in there. So uh, they said Chicago. I'm like, yeah, man, close to Milwaukee, yeah. I'll do it. Uh, Miles Jury, you know, it's not a bad fight. He's a tough dude. I mean, his only loss is Cerrone. So uh, I was looking at that fight like just a rebound fight for me. I mean, not, not a stepping stone by any means. Yeah. It was going to be a tough fight, but I just wanted to get that quick turnaround. But uh, now that he's injured, I'm injured. Um, We'll see, we'll see how the injuries come back and who's next. I mean, Khabib's definitely on the radar. Um, they were talking Diaz. Diaz is on the radar. I mean, whoever, a good fight that's going to amp me up, get me motivated, and get me close to that title shot. Yeah, so do you have an ideal opponent for your return? I don't. It depends on their injuries. Okay, I mean, yeah. I know Khabib's out with a knee injury. That takes a little longer than my elbow injury, so we'll kind of see. That would be something. Finally, you too. I mean, you guys have been going back and you know, forth. He, for so he hit me up on Twitter. We were talking crap back and forth, but he was respectful about the injury thing. He was like, man, you know, get better. Things happen, and... Uh, I think my respect for him got a little bit, you know, cooler after that tweet went out. So I mean, uh, if he comes back the same time I come back, let's book it. I mean, that's that's the type for sh that that fight would give me a title shot for sure. Well, good to see you again. Thank you for the time and enjoy Mexico City. Thanks, bro. You too.